Let's start this video with a disclaimer. <laughs> the video does not stand for itself. It's embedded into a discussion in the Aronia Spectron V6 support forum. And yeah, it shall show how I managed to use the Spectron V6 with a GNU radio and so PSDR. It's considered to be a developer preview, so the code is at a very early stage, but it's developed in an open source manner and uh, under a free license, so um, consider it to be an invitation to contribute by either testing, sending pull requests, doing reviews, giving feedback. So that uh, would be a very welcome effect of this video. Feedback goes directly into the forum under the GNU radio section or uh, onto GitHub or drop me a mail at mail at hp9fxq.ch. So let's look at the setup. On the network we have two machines. On the one side there's a Windows 10 PC running the RTSA suite and is connected to a Spectron V6 over USB. The mission loaded into the RTSA suite also provides an HTTP server. And this HTTP server block allows us to stream raw IQ data over the HTTP protocol over the network. And on the other side, we're looking at the Linux machine. This is the machine we are currently on, uh, I'm filming. Uh, nothing special, Ubuntu 20.04. And at the heart of my setup here, there's uh, this new LibSpectron stream. And the purpose of this library is to pull exactly this stream from the HTTP server and provide a simple interface to access it by other software. In this case, um, we have two blocks. On the one side, the GNU radio block. The out of tree module is um, called uh, GR Aronia RTSA, but it provides a source block for the Spectron V6. And on the other side, we have the SOPSDR interface. SOPSDR is an abstraction layer of various uh, vendors opens up a wide range of software to use with uh, the Spectron V6 over the network. Software just like all these RTL tools like RTL433 to decode ISM data or Welle EO to uh, decode DAB radio, <coughs> but also your usual SDR tools like GQRX or SDR Angel. So Let's dig a bit deeper and look inside uh, this uh, LibSpectron stream. As I said, uh, the purpose is to pull the stream into the memory, and this is done by two threads. So we have this HTTP consumer thread, basically consuming the stream and uh, decoding it and putting the samples on a ring buffer. And this ring buffer is shared with a client thread that um, Client thread provides a simple interface like read samples, providing the number of samples you want to pull from the ring buffer and provide a block of memory where to write the data to. Now before we go into the Linux side, uh, let's connect to the Windows machine. This is a remote desktop session to the Windows machine. Let me do this full screen. All right, and that's Let's look at the mission that is loaded. So as expected, there's a Spectron V6 uh, sampling at an um, IQ rate of 92 megahertz. The IQ stream 1 is connected to a IQ demodulator block. And this block slices out the portion of the spectrum that we won't want to pull from, let's say, our client software like GNU Radio or so PSDR. And it's also controlled from LibSpectron stream later on, so the center frequency, sample rate, parameters, and so on, will be controlled from the library from remote. And here in the mission, actually all we would need is the HTTP server, but for some eye candy here in the video, there's also a waterfall showing the IQ power spectrum of our resulting IQ stream. Okay, this setup, let's look at the details. So, 
let's look at the waterfall. If you don't know the IQ demodulator block, it's centered at here at around 100 megahertz and it's sampling at 2 megahertz at a 2 megahertz sample rate. And in the top pane here in the top uh, diagram we see the full spectrum coming in from uh, from here from the spectrum to the IQ demodulator and the bottom pane shows the result of our IQ demodulator resulting IQ stream. And it, this is also visualized in the waterfall. So if I would shift the center frequency, you see the center frequency moves with the cursor. Let's center it here. And in the bottom here we see the resulting spectrum that goes to the HTTP server if any client is connected. So it's not a push mechanism, it's a pull mechanism. So in the detail of the HTTP server, when we will be uh, connecting later on, we will see the client session here. We will see the samples per second going over the line. And also the HTTP server itself maintains a local buffer. If the client is not able to keep up with the rate of samples, then this buffer fills up and we are losing samples. So it's a good idea to keep an eye on this. Now let's take a quick look at the setup. Um, of course I've already done it on this machine, but for the video I'll do it in a separate folder. So, oops, mcar video, video. We need uh, three things. We need the lib spectron stream, we need GR Aronia uh, RTSA for GNU radio, and we need the, uh, the code for the SOPI spectron V6. So let's go through the setup process real quick. Um, first lib spectron stream. The links will be in the video description. So let's first uh, clone this my repo. We create a build directory, run CMake, make sudo make install, and if you run Ubuntu, sudo make ld config for any Debian like system as well. Uh, uh, not make. <laughs> I will not cut this out. Let's let things happen as they happen. Uh, all right, so now we have installed the library and the requirements are uh, really simple. You need uh, rapid JSON dev that comes from the Debian or Ubuntu basic repositories as well as uh, libcurl, the developer packages for the SSL enabled uh, libcurl4 library. And then this will compile just like seen here. Now um, for for GNU Radio, I, I will not uh, I will not go into the setup of GNU Radio, but the clock the block itself currently is only running with GNU Radio 3.8, and I think that is the mainstream version currently. So 3.9 is released, but in all mainstream Linux distributions, you will find. 3.8 of GNU Radio. So make sure you have uh, GNU Radio installed as well as the development package. So on Debian this would be GNU Radio dev uh, because dev we we will need uh, the development headers. So let's uh, clone this one. Same procedure, we'll create ourselves uh, a build direct, whoops. Build, let's be precise. So run CMake, whoop. Uh, no, 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 sudo required, let's run make. install and 
also the ld config and the same procedure goes for the oops for the soap sdr code yeah to be able to run this you need the uh, soap sdr to be compiled from source you'll find it in the so PSDR wiki on how to do this. It's not in the scope of this video. Uh, video git clone. Same procedure. We go and compile it. And install it. That's it, you're all set. Now let's see how this uh, setup worked out. Um, here I have a instance with a fres fresh canvas uh, of GNU Radio Companion version 3.8. And we want to set our sample block to sample at 5 megahertz. Oh, sorry, that's hard to see. It's 5e6 here, 5 megahertz. No, oh no, it's good. Let's see what we have here. So we have this Aronia RTSA uh, section now in GNU Radio, and there's a Spectrum V6 mission HTTP source block. Let's pull this in. And it has already some default values set. The only thing we need to change is the IP address of the server. And the center frequency, let's go to smaller 227.36 that's a DAB channel 12c center uh, good visu visualization and it asks us to tune spectrum center of frequency to choose between true and false and this is important to understand to to ignore the uh, DC center spike or dip um, depending on the sampling um, we will plan to offset the center frequency of the IQ demodula demodulation <laughs> from the center frequency of the spectrum uh, sampling itself. So we'll leave this at true and we will say we'll ins uh, use a, a spectrum center frequency offset of 10 megahertz here. All right, now we need a way to visualize this. I have installed Phosphor for a bit eye candy here. And let's also set the center frequency at 227. All right. Let's see if this works. Oh, we have to save uh, video. All right, this seems to work, okay. Eh? Bring the spectrum up a bit. And now look what happened. <coughs> uh, the center frequency of the spectrum is 10 megahertz beside the center frequency of our IQ demodulator. The GNU radio block has tuned our IQ demodulator to 227.36 and also set the sampling rate to 5 megahertz. Actually, it's that simple. Now we have a stream of 5 megahertz. <laughs> into GNU Radio. Nothing more to see. But think of all the possibilities with the uh, GNU Radio. For example, um, ah, I don't want to play music in the video because maybe YouTube will unlist it, but let's try our luck with uh, put down the volume. And this is a basic Let's see if they are talking or if there's music. Ah, oh, they are talking, that's fine. You might hear it. And yeah, I think it's not important um, to have music or radio on the, on the video. But what we see is um, when I tune here, just look at the center frequency of the spectrum and the center frequency of the IQ demodulator. When I tune here, it tunes both with a given offset, right? Oh, no, no music. <laughs> no music in videos? All right. I think you got it. 
Right, a good example to see that everything is working fine. Let's pull out a, a stream. I will put down the sound a bit. All right, so now we are doing some uh, DAB uh, demodulation. And if we look at, uh, I will leave this running in the background here. If we look at the state of the HTTP server, we can uh, clearly see that the buffer is empty. So the library on the client side managed to pull all samples from, uh, from the network in the given speed, like around two mega samples per second here in this case. Right, that's for uh, GNU Radio. Next we we will look at the SOAP SDR sound. So a quick look at the source of the SOAP SDR block <coughs> shows that we are supporting two basic formats. Uh, CS16, a signed integer, complex signed 16-bit, and complex float 32-bit. And the source also shows to, to instantiate uh, this SOAPI block, we, we are offered two arguments. First, of course, is our endpoint that requires the IP address and the port of the HTTP server, and the offset from the, the center offset in hertz. So if all went well, SOAP util probe will uh, reflect this information and you will see there's a registered driver for Spectron v6 with a fantasy serial number. It's not doing any lookup or anything from the given endpoint, but it's just probing that driver exists and can be instantiated. And it also ref it reflects our uh, arguments and some ranges. Currently only frequency tuning is uh, implemented. We cannot tune uh, the overall gain or reference level or stuff like this. So it's just uh, basically an adapter to set the sample rate, center frequency and yeah, that's it. <laughs> so let's look at uh, GQRX. How would a typical setup look like? Uh, you see we are selecting the SOAPI driver for uh, Spectron v6 and we are providing these two arguments, the endpoint and the center offset. I have set the sample rate to be at 14 megahertz and uh, since we are pulling, uh, GQRX is pulling complex flow 32 bit, uh, this will Situate my network card here and also my network switch, <laughs> probably at right below one gigabyte, a uh, gigabit per second. So let's kick this off and I will immediately mute because we don't need music on the radio. But let's put GQRX on this side and now, now I will uh, tune the center frequency from GQRX. And look what happened here on the center frequency of the IQ demodulator and the center frequency of the spectrum. See, it follows. It follows in real time. So that's it. This is uh, GQRX, uh, no, that's not, no. No public fun here. Let's go to radio um, and hope for no music. All right. Ah, nice music. Anyway, you got it. And GQRX is just one sample, but let's uh, think of a convenient DAB decoder. And I think that's... Uh, pretty uncommon to run a DAB radio with a, a real-time spectrum analyzer, but this shows how well this works. I, I will choose the news. There is no music usually in news. Oh. 
All right, and there you got it. Uh, Vele.io is a DAB decoder. Let's put down memory. There are also stations transmitting a image, I think energy maybe. Ah, uh, signal is pretty weak here. Yeah, anyway, you got that. <laughs> So all kind of S SOAP SDR compatible software is now compatible with uh, Spectrum V6. And I think that's, that's a pretty nice use case for this great device. Yeah, maybe one last sample with, um, with the SOAP adapter. Here I have started RTL 433. It's a famous decoder for ISM bands, and we are, oops, okay, and the reference is getting a bit high because I cranked up the gain a bit. Um, uh, let's see if we can see it here. Yeah, we see we have some ISM data going on, and RTL433 is decoding it in real time. In this case, it seems to be a temperature sensor here, probably my own one or from the neighborhood <laughs> but um, yeah this uh, RTL 433 is uh, illustrating that it uh, that the CS CS uh, 16 stream is also working and as you see it's such a narrow band uh, thing the the HTTP server is kind of idling around uh, two mega samples per second right that is all for today. Development uh, will go on, especially the TX path, of course, for uh, GNU Radio and also for SOAP SDR. Um, a TX example, yeah, maybe maybe one more, <laughs> one more thing. Okay, let's let's bring back uh, let's bring back the reference to normally and. Let's see how SDR Angel is a pretty well-equipped SDR client software. If you're not familiar with uh, all these uh, SDR clients, SDR Angel is a very, very well-written and very feature-rich SDR client for RX and TX. And I think this will be a good example to show how uh, TX uh, can and will work. So same here, you have our a Spectron device in the list of available devices. We will not switch for now. Um, the SOP adapter, and here we are running radio at two mega samples per second. Yeah. But yeah, same, same like in GQRX uh, tuning is just like just a breeze, and it is, has this uh, eye candy here of uh, waterfall like this histogram style visualization. And I, I'm not sure if that will come out on the video, but it's really, really fast. And if you're looking for small signals, it's really helpful. And of course we have all kind of useful uh, demodulators. Uh, one thing I want can open, I don't know if I want to, but I can try is um, ADSB. Let's see if we will see some, sp spot some planes, uh, 90, zero, zero. Uh, see some, some, something is going on here. It's already captured the first messages with a position. Let's see. We have no identity yet. Maybe I should open the window. That's really the wrong antenna for the job. Oops. Let's see if that makes a difference. <coughs> yeah, but uh, while waiting for uh, packages, um, you see STR Angel really offers a wide range of demodulation and possibilities that is a kind of a nice addition to to the Aronia RTSA suite that is, uh, I think that's to mention. Maybe we should crank up the visual gain here as well a bit to make, oops, to make this bursts 
easier to catch. Yeah, that is that is working. Uh, but there's not much traffic. But yeah, you see, it is <laughs> it is working, and we got a. Oh, it's just so small. It is here. You see, it's here. <laughs> All right, that concludes my demonstration of my uh, GNU Radio block and the SOAP SDR adapter for the Spectron V6. And I hope to uh, get a lot of interesting feedback, and maybe it helps you to solve some cases. Thanks a lot for watching the video to this point. Bye-bye.